the permission of the president and uh, the body, I just would like to make a manifestation. The other day, right before the Las Cañas hearing, I was told by my staff that a statement was made that I was uh, guilty of, uh, you know, returning a witness that had lied, like Las Cañas. And uh, I think Senator Ontiveros made I just stand up here to make that clarification. I already told Senator Antiveros about this, and I just want to be uh, to make it straight for the record that such was not the case. In the case of Las Cañas, we had already submitted our, our, our report, and uh, and then after several months, he decided to come back here, and after having perjured himself, he decides to come back and come out with another testimony. In the matter presented by Senator Antiveros, Senator Antiveros noted that in a 2009 Blue Ribbon Committee, of which I was chairman, hearing on the 728 million fertilizer fund scam, scam Fashion Philippines President Julie Gregorio recanted an earlier statement on the cost of fertilizers. She belied her earlier claim that the fertilizers cost per bottle, admitting that the real cost, that they really only cost. 150 pesos each. Back then, I was quoted to have said, ang recantation malinaw, admission against interest practically yun, dahil ang sinasabi niya nangyari ito, nung napilitan siya kasi gusto niyang ipagbili yung stock ng fashion at nabigyan siya ng pagkakataon. Close quotes. Assuming such to be true, a fuller recitation of facts become necessary, if only to provide us a whole picture of what happened. Gregorio, on December 22, testified as to the price of the fertilizer, which is 600 pesos per bottle. And this is on the record of the Committee on Accountability of Public Officers and Investigations, Monday, December 22, 2008, page 276. And I quote, the chairman, Nagsara dahil ang laki ng kita bigla. Makano ba ang puhunan nyo doon sa 50 million na yon? Ms. Gregorio, 473 per bottle. The chairman, 463 per bottle at pinasan yun ng Ms. Gregorio, landed cost po 600. Pinasan yun ng 600 pesos according to the chairman. Ms. Gregorio, opo. The chairman, so almost 140 ang tubo ninyo. Ms. Gregorio, opo. On January 20, she testified as to the real price of the fertilizer which is 150 pesos per bottle. Committee on Accountability of Public Officers and Investigations, Tuesday, January 20, 2009, page 210. And again, I quote Ms. Gregorio, Fashion Philippines Incorporated sold to Ms. Aitona and Ms. Lerena the fertilizer at 150 pesos per bottle, as evidenced by the 22 delivery receipts covering 90,092 bottles and 17 order slips signed by one Cecil A. Clemente, Malin Araos, and Bing Salvador, whom I know to be employees of Ms. Aitona. I received a total amount of 13,013,800 from Ms. Lorena, represented by 11 land bank checks and cash of 500,000 pesos from Ms. Aitona. Three, when she changed some parts of her story, especially the price of the fertilizer. In the sale to Arao's trading with which her company entered into AMOA, from 150 pesos to 600 pesos, Gregorio was still on the stand. In other words, she had not been dismissed. Gregorio changed her testimony because she got very, very afraid that we were gonna go after her for perjury precisely because she was lying. In fact, she even went to my office and I told her we would throw the book at her. And because of that, I just want to point out that while she had not been dismissed or discharged yet as a witness, unlike Mr. Las Cañas, hers was a continuing testimony, Mr. Chairman, and thus her change in story on the 20th of January cannot be viewed but a mere continuation. To make clear, while she testified as to a story, she changed parts of her story during her same testimony, supported by affidavits submitted beforehand. 
When Gregorio changed part of her story, she did it while the committee was still in the continuation or process of its hearings. The committee had not terminated its hearings yet, nor had it drafted, routed for signature, and submitted a committee report. This was part of the unraveling of all the shenanigans that was occurring in the fertilizer scam that we investigated, Mr. Chairman. I would not tolerate a liar testifying before us, especially after I have submitted the report, especially for somebody who claims to have killed 300 people and somebody who claims that he had, you know, a spiritual renewal in the month of July 2016 only to come before the committee Harap dito on September, and in spite of the renewal, lies once more to his teeth in a very calm, deliberate, cogent manner, answers questions, and then later on, takes capital of that after his testimony, goes with the Davao squad, not the dead squad, but the Davao squad obviously lobbying for STL funds, for a terminal port contract, for for quarrying contract, and one more, customs, Your Honor. So which means this man is accustomed to uh, lying, Mr. President. In fact, I just wanted to point it out, and I said this, this man has lost his moral compass, and that is why I vehemently stood up here, unmindful of the possible popular backlash, because I thought that the Senate has been slurred by his testimony, latter testimony. And having said that, there's a wheel of difference between somebody who's still on the student stand and changing his testimony under pressure from the chairman, under cross, changing his tes testimony, and finally telling the truth against interest while still at, at the, on, the test on the stand and before the committee had submitted the report. I have no grievance against the Honorable Senator. She's a friend of mine, and I just want to set the record straight. I just want to point it out. I spoke to her yesterday, Senator Deveros, and I have no grievance against her. I have no ill feelings. I just wanted to make sure that the record is set straight because it came out on national radio, and I saw it on my Facebook account that some people were saying that I was taking a double standard. Far from it, Mr. Chairman. We unraveled that testimony with Ms. Gregorio crumbling and finally coming out stating the truth while still under the stand and as a witness. Thank you very much for your patience. Thank you. Thank you. What's the majority leader, Senator Rontiveros, is raising her hand. What's the pleasure of the good senator? Uh, Mr. President and the good majority leader, I'd just like to make a brief manifestation. Go ahead, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I would like to thank uh, the good gentleman for confirming that there was a witness in Blue Ribbon who recanted, and it was accepted. Thank you, Mr. President. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. We take note of the manifestation. Um, and while we are at the issue of manifestations, if you will notice, uh, if our colleagues will notice in the agenda, um, it was the thinking of the rep this representation and the Senate President that we prioritize uh, at least uh, two or three of the major bills that we will be able to pass until next week. So that um, that is the reason why we have placed the more the debatable issues or controversial issues towards the end of the agenda. We wanted to make sure that um, these um, uh, pieces of legislation will uh, get prioritized and be passed on third reading at least next week. Uh, I'm sure the Senate President will confirm that particular idea that we discussed. So with that, Mr. President, I move uh, with the permission of the body, uh, there is always uh, um, well, um, the, the next um, on the agenda that I will call for, Mr. President, well, is not really an exemption, but it's merely a sponsorship, so it will not take much time of the, um, 
of the Senate. So I move to transfer from the calendar for ordinary business to the calendar for special order. Senate Bill 1363 under Committee Report Number 44. Any objection? There being none, so transferred.